Hi. Here's my SIP instrument cluster review slash tutorial on setting it up and what some of the functions are. So, the manual is pretty complete and comprehensive. It is translated from German into English very well. Um, as opposed to some Asian manuals, it shows you where the sensors are and that you, what things you do and do not have to hook up. Because this instrument cluster covers multiple years, if I'm not mistaken, all the way back to the GT200, GTS Grand Turismo 200, on up to my scooter, which is a 2009 and beyond. Um, they also have a different instrument cluster for the newer bikes. Um, the button outlay is what you see here. I had a couple things that I had to reprogram mine for when I first got it. Okay, because normal electronics does a sweep and then you start it. And mine was showing, oh, about seven, eight thousand RPM at idle, which wasn't correct. Um, and I also was having a hard time figuring out how to get it into mile per hour from kilometer until I finally learned, which is going to be hard to do with uh, two hands, but I will, I mean, without two hands, it'll be difficult to do it too. So pressing the button on the left and on the right simultaneously, one, two, three, four, you get to this, which is the first select in the menu. To go to the next menu is hit the same side, work through it. Now you go to select, you want to go to menu two, which is different settings. This is the RPM, which I do need to set, which goes to 15, not the, uh, it's a wheel speed calibration. So if you have a different size wheel set up on your bike, or different years have different speedo drives, and it covers that in the manual, it addresses that. This is where I had to play around with it to what I feel is the right RPM reading. Um, I went with what the base average should be for the RPM and set it, and it shows about 700 RPM at idle. I believe that to be correct. Um, feel free to chip in if you think it's something other than that. Um, this test can change your clock from 12 to 24, and you go through it, you hit that, then you hit select again, and it changes it to a 12 hour clock. For some people who don't like military time or have been in the military, that's kind of, kind of a nice option to be able to set it to what you would like. And the background color also changes to, now it gives you a speed indication warning, and I had to go through and change this because it would blink at me every time I rode because it would hit the maximum speed, which is set at 60 kilometers, which is uh, read in kilometers or miles per hour. So it hits that, and you can also set off an alarm, depending on the screen that we were just on, it sets off an alarm if your bike gets too hot, and you can change that. You can change the voltage alarm setting and um, ABS is off because my bike is pre-ABS, but if you turn it on, your ABS light is on all the time, especially if you don't have ABS. Um, so it took me a little while to figure that out, but it was on that function. And then I forget which 11 is, but you go through and it doesn't have function one, function two, function three, but it shows you that in the pictorial 
what you're adjusting when you get to a certain thing. So you have to start at one and go through the whole menu to get to certain ones. This is, I believe, the color choice, yeah it is. Um, that's the white, light green background, the deep red, which is, is deep. With my phone, it whites out, so it's more like the color below all the way up the display. And that's more yellow, and that is green in my, that's truly green in mine. Um, it doesn't transmit on my phone as well as it should or could. I do like the blue. Once you've hit that and you want to change the brightness, you can. And that's a nice feature for some because they don't want it uber bright. During the daytime though, you might find it hard. So I have it set at four for me. Um, then you have to go back to the next. And I believe on one of these upper ones, I know I can change the miles on my scooter to fit what is actually on my scooter. Um, and so back to the span and start. Um, I hope that helps somebody out. I very much like the cluster, the fuel gauge is accurate, the temperature gauge works well, um, all the functions and features work well, uh, easy to read, clear and simple. The functions, once you're out of the menu, you can check the outside temperature, the voltage, um, uh, the time, Fahrenheit. I, I think I have that. I think I have a sensor I have to plug in, or I, maybe I have to order. I, the box comes complete with minus the uh, electronic speed sensor adapter. If you have a speedo cable, I believe that comes with an available add-on through a SIP scooter store. Um, and the alarm button blinks code button blinks as normal if you've got the key off and out, or even the key off and in on Vespas. Um, it's a little tricky getting the Speedo cable hooked up to it. Um, my scooter had been had been laid down at one point, and the handlebars should be replaced because my bolt holes don't line up underneath with the mirror mounts, so something got banged when it went down, and I've got a little piece of plastic on the bottom broken. Um, this is an 09, I'm in Florida. Originally had tw has 22,000 miles or so, and um, it's been polished up by me, and I had a scrape on the side with a little bit of a dent on this side, which I was able to just come in through the pet carrier and push out by hand and forcing my knuckles in there tight that I was able to just pop it out. Um, I did warm it briefly with a hairdryer before I did that. It just makes it easier for it to pop. Um, and the lower piece here was scratched up and broken, and the Vespa the badging on that side was off and broken. Um, right now I'm just cleaning up the details, the back uh, fender piece, my messy bench. Uh, the bolts that hold it on are steel not stainless steel, which, why not? I mean, eh, they corrode. It's on the inside of the wheel fender, the rear wheel fender mud guard, and um, I have a local Ace hardware, and they have the stainless steel hardware in stock. Um, I'm in, South, in Florida, and uh, it's lived all its life in Florida. So when I had the seat bucket out and the this off, the uh, rear car luggage carrier, um, I did that simply to make life easier for me um, to clean up the chrome because there was a lot more rust on it. There's a little bit left. I don't know if you can see that with my shop light in here. Um, I also took the chance to invert the springs, which is an easy mod to do. Um, there's a cotter pin that fits in here. There are actually two of them that allow you to slide this rod over and take 
the springs out and take the carrier off and flip them, swap this one to that, some, that one to this one and reinstall it in the down pushing position. So these used to come down here and rest. Now they've been swapped sides and they rest on that side, keeping it open all the time. You still get a bit of a bump sometimes when going over a severe bump. Has to be pretty severe. Um, this scooter, if you have a loose glove box where it feels like the hinges are broken, they're not, generally. Gen sometimes the tabs on the inside, they just vibrate loose 22,000 miles. Um, it's, they vibrated loose. Little things that are annoying me on the stain not stainless steel is that <laughs> It corrodes a little bit and then leaves you with red weepy rusts. That's why my license of my rear mid guard is off because it has rust streaks going down under the paneling. The body is pretty pretty good um, as far as rust. Um, along the underside of the bucket, there's a little bit, and I'm going to take care of it um, with some rust neutralizer and a fine paintbrush. Um, not worth it to me to monkey about. This in Florida, um, the reason I bought the SIP instrument cluster was because the Vespa one was 450 bucks. This was 249 brand new. Um, the orange on the liquid crystal display, I was able to repair by taking it off and buying a digitizer screen from eBay. There are a couple of tutorials on modern Vespa. A shout out to them. Um, my OEM original of the bike, um, or an 09 or 010 uh, windshield guide, because it's got a date code on them, uh, was very gray. And that's just using um, Meguiar's rubbing polishing compound. You can use plastic polish polishing compound, what, whichever you'd prefer. It's truly, you know, your own thing. Um, the headlight, I replaced the small bulb with an LED bulb. They're pretty easy. And a LED motorcycle bulb. Easy mods to do. Um, quick and easy. You, if you cl look closely, the top of my inside lens housing, I should replace it. I don't ride this bike a whole lot at night. That light illuminates much brighter than the original equipment headlight did. Um, as you look over there and I turn on my bike, that's low beam. That's high beam. And I have a very bright shop light in my garage. Um, I'm just going to blind you all here. Um, it's a four quart light, a uh, gas station light that you see these days at the gas stations. Next is to remove the exhaust, uh, remove the exhaust donut, replace it. Um, I'm not removing the exhaust to, to replace the donut, but they're one-time use. Just sometimes you can get two out of them. But I want to clean the exhaust and wire brush it down, sand it down, and coat it with black paint. Or maybe I'll go wild and take it over to a powder coater and have them powder coat it haven't decided. It's going to rust again. They all do. It's one of the pitfalls with Vespas, but it's not rusted through. And I also want to inspect the hangers for cracks. And if it needs welding, I'll set it up on the bench and weld whatever cracks, if any, I find. Um, other than that, it's a good running bike. And that's what you can get for 900 bucks. Um, I knew it had been laid down. It was obvious on this side. It was pressed in and it had the road rash. Um, this side fairing has a little down at the bottom and the end of the bar weight uh, was scuffed and I did my best to wet sand it out. Uh, the front nose fender um, had more scrapes in it, um, nothing horrible. And the side mirror had um, some scrapes in the surface which managed to sand out all in all, not bad for a $900 bike. Um, but when you come to the paint, it feels incredibly smooth, but the transition in color isn't there. I tried to find a shiny black that would match Piaggio's 
Nero 94. Um, and I just didn't feel like spending 70 bucks for a factory match paint can, aerosol can. So I think I'm just going to take in my rear fender guard and have them match, paint match, and aerosol can it at a local paint shop. A um, number of paint shops can do that. And it's in a can. You don't have to buy a sprayer. You don't have to do that. Um, and I did my results where it actually looks very good where the damage was just by simply painting it, uh, priming, painting it, and then wet sanding it. I took a lot of time between each coat, and I feel it turned out well, um, except for the, uh, the choice in color. Hey, if you like it and want to see more of my adventures, let me know. Oh, the other thing I did was debadge the rest of it, except for up here. It's now just a black badge because the chrome was just falling off. And I like the logo. The rest of the chrome looked like that on the badges where it was just flaking off. I'm going to have a new one. Um, thought about replacing them. The reflectors on the nose, they're gone on there they're gone somebody glued the old ones back on the fenders and that's just a horrible thing to do because then when you go to pop them off it breaks the paint off so i had to spend extra time on this side repairing that because of where they had popped them off my seats for an 09 looks good underneath not so good it's got a cheeky cover, an easy slip-over cover, and it's comfortable. The foam's not horribly worn out or anything, but you can kind of tell the outline of the original equipment seat. Um, which I'm thankful that the previous owner was nice enough to install this, because this set seat is pretty much shot and crazed. So maybe this this summer I'll get a new new replacement seat and uh, go from there. Anyway, have a great day. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff, and see you again.